For my next project, I need to do some heat treatment on a blade, and up till now, I've always piled a few bricks together and used my propane torch, and I've got by that way. But that's not going to work in this situation, so I need a forge, and I don't have one. I've always meant to build a decent forge and just never got round to it, but because I need one so quick, I'm going to make one out of this paint can. It's going to be simple, no frills, nothing fancy, but it should be functional, and the more I think about it, I think a forge of this size would be better suited for what I need anyway. It'll be a quick and easy setup whenever I need to use it. I'm using this strapping because it's just easy and fast to work with, and that's the, uh, the whole idea of this project. For the refractory mix, I've got sand and plaster of Paris, and they get mixed together equally, a one-to-one -one ratio. I've put two and a half cups of sand in there, so now I need two and a half cups of plaster of Paris, and then I'll add water until I get a, a good mix. This is washed sand, but you can use any sand you like. Give the sand and the plaster of Paris a good mix together before you put the water in. And that feels pretty good now. It's firm, but it's still wet enough to, to work shape and fall. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it's good doing it with your hands as well, if you don't mind getting messy, because you can squish it all together and make sure that it's mixed well. I'm going to put a layer in the bottom, which will be the, the back. So maybe about an inch, I think. Push that into the corners. I lost some footage of me putting the sand and plaster mix in and basically what you missed was me just putting the bottle in and building it up around there. And the other thing was I put a piece of steel pipe in, the, uh, in this hole in the side here and I angled that up slightly and that's for the torch to go into. So I'm going to fire this up now and give it a go. The torch was playing up a little bit, it went out a couple of times and it hasn't been performing very well lately anyway, it hasn't had a very even flame on there, so I think there might be a blockage in there, but rather than mess with it I just went out and bought this one and being map gas it will be better as well. The end of the new torch is wider than the old one, so that means I've got to get this pipe out and enlarge the hole. It's just the cheap brass band, it's doing the job well.
went pretty well. There's not much to it and easy enough for anybody to make. The refractory mix could probably be improved upon. That wouldn't be the most efficient material, but quick and easy to do, and it's good enough for my needs. But if you wanted to improve on it, then there's materials out there that you can do that with. If you're going to make and use one of these, then don't use it inside. I did on this video, but it would have been difficult to shoot in the full sun outside. So uh, that's why I did it. I had my industrial fan running. It's quite a, a big open space and I've got a big door there. And plus I had my respirator on as well. Still, that's uh, not ideal and in future I will be using it outside. So uh, I had a bit of fun making this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it and all that kind of thing. And thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.